9.45 a.m. We're on our way to French brunch. The word can be a bit of an oxymoron because brunch is an English term to describe a Sunday meal for late night Saturday partiers. And so, I mean, French is French. How does that fit together? Well, we're in Quebec where the Brits actually defeated the French before they took over North America. So I guess it makes sense. By the way, this hat makes me look like an elf or a cone head. Cone heads. Cone head. That's where we're going. Bonjour. For our French breakfast, we brought our French man. Salut Adrien. Salut. Ooh, look at this pretty table. Ta da! Au Casa de Baguette has an exhaustive menu of French stuff. Incluant a dauphinois. I'm quite excited about the dauphinois. Isn't that super French? Yeah, kind of French. Why is it? As much as my accent. <laughs> Your accent is super French. <laughs> so uh, prepare for the ultimate French breakfast experience on North American steroids. Sounds good. All right. Ooh. Ooh, merci. Valrona hot chocolate. Apparently, um, one of the fancy chocolate in France from the same region as L'Hermitage. L'Hermitage? L'Hermitage. Fancy wine as well. Fancy wine and chocolate. We like. Was the information accurate? Um, just wait for 10 or 15 minutes and I should have the information. Hermitage, Faux Hermitage, Cornas. Accurate information on MTL Food Snob. Bravo. Ooh. Ooh, look at this. Super thick chocolate. Look at this. Whoa. I just ordered a orange hot chocolate and apparently they melt the chocolate directly in the orange juice. We are done and so full that we literally ate during three hours. So Adrien, how do you feel? I feel like I have reconnected with my true self. Bravo! Yeah, really. At the point that now I have even more my French accent as usual, you know? <laughs> anyway, guys, thank you so much for being a part of this. If you want more food blah blahs and sceneries of Montreal, by all means, give us a thumbs up and subscribe to this channel. We'll see you next time. <laughs>